Hello everyone. Welcome to edupediaworld.com. This is your video lecturer Vamika Soni and in the current video lecture I will explain you all about peripheral nervous system. In my previous video lecture I had already discussed about spinal cord. In the current video lecture we will learn about the cranial nerves and the spinal nerves. So let's get started with the current video lecture. See peripheral nervous system includes the nerves which carry the impulses to and from the central nervous system. There are two sets of nerves, the cranial nerves and the spinal nerves. The cranial nerves originate from the cranium. A human body has 12 pairs of cranial nerves which can be sensory, motor or mixed. As you can see in this figure, the first cranial nerve is olfactory cranial nerves. The origin is from the olfactory lobe and they are sensory in nature. These nerves are distributed in the olfactory epithelium in the nasal cavity and the major function of the olfactory cranial nerve is smelling. Now the next one is the optic cranial nerves. As you can see here, this is the second cranial nerve. The origin of optic cranial nerve is from the site of Dinsiphilon and it is sensory in nature. It is distributed in the retina of the eye and the major function of this type of cranial nerve is sight. The next cran cranial nerve is oculomotor. The origin of this nerve is from the floor of the midbrain and the nature of this nerve is it is a motor nerve. It is widely distributed in the eyeball, muscles, ciliary muscles and tear glands. The major function is movement of eyeball. The next cranial nerve is trochlear cranial nerve. Here you can see the origin of this nerve is from the floor of midbrain and this type of nerve is a motor nerve. This cranial nerve is distributed in the superior oblique muscle of the eyeball and the major function of this cranial nerve is rotation of eyeball. Okay, the next cranial nerve is the trigeminal cranial nerve. Here you can see the trigeminal cranial nerve. The origin of this nerve is from the ventral side of pons and it is mixed in nature. It is distributed in the skin of nose, eyelids, forehead, oral mucosa, muscles and head, face, mouth and tongue. And the major functions are sensation of touch and taste, muscle movements. Okay, the next cranial nerve is the abducens cranial nerve. The origin is from the ventral side of medulla and it is motor nerve. It is distributed in the external rectus muscles of the eyeball and the major function is rotation of eyeball. The next cranial nerve is the facial cranial nerve. The origin of this nerve is from the side of medulla. It is mixed in nature and it is distributed among the taste buds, salivary glands, facial and neck muscles. The major function of this type of nerve is taste, facial expression, saliva secretion and neck movements. The next type of cranial nerve is the vestibulocochlear cranial nerve. As you can see here in the image, it is also known as the auditory cranial nerve. Okay, it is uh, the origin of this nerve is from the side of medulla and it is sensory in nature and it is distributed in the internal ear. The major function of this type of nerve is hearing and equilibrium. The next cranial nerve is glossopharyngeal cranial nerve. The origin is from the side of medulla. It is mixed in nature and it is distributed in the mucous membrane and muscles of pharynx and tongue. The major functions are taste, saliva secretion, pharyngeal contractions. The next type of cranial nerve is the vacuous cranial nerve. The origin is from the side and floor of medulla. 
and it is mixed in nature. It is distributed among the pharynx, respiratory tract, heart, pancreas, alimentary canal, blood vessels and the major function of this type of nerve is gastric and pancreatic secretion, cardiac slowing, gastrointestinal movements, respiratory vasometer and visceral reflexes. Now the next type of cranial nerve is the spinal accessory nerve which is, which is also known as the cranial accessory. The origin of this type of nerve is from the side of medulla and it is motor in nature. It is distributed among the neck and shoulder muscles. Also it is present in the thoracic and abdominal viscera. The major function of this type of nerve is muscle movements and visceral reflexes. Okay, the next type of cranial nerve is hypoglossal cranial nerve. It is originated from the ventral side of medulla and it is a motor nerve. It is distributed among the muscles of tongue. Also the major function of this type of nerve is the tongue movements. So this was all about the cranial nerves. Now we will discuss about the spinal nerves. Okay, spinal nerves originate from the spinal cord by the means of two roots, a dorsal root and a ventral root. Each dorsal root has an ovoid dorsal ganglion. All the spinal nerves are mixed nerves having both sensory and motor fibers. At the junction of the two roots, the sensory and motor fibers separate out. The sensory fibers continue into the dorsal root and the motor fibers continue into the ventral root. Both roots enter the grey matter of the spinal cord and end in the respective dorsal and ventral horns of the grey matter. A human body has 31 pairs of spinal nerves. These are classified in five groups. First one is the cervical. It is present in eight pairs. The next one is the thoracic. It is present in the 12 pairs. Next one is limbar, present in 5 pairs. Then it is sacral, present in 5 pairs. And the last one is cochygeal, present in 1 pair. So this was all about the spinal nerves and this was also all about today's video lecture. Hope you all have enjoyed the video lecture and understood the concept properly. In my upcoming video lecture, I will deal with the autonomic nervous system. Till then, keep watching to the videos of edupediaworld.com. Have a wonderful day ahead.